On to number 10, general items. Purchase of three Chevrolet Tahoe SUVs. Commander Brian Baker. Good evening, uh, Mayor and uh, members of the council. Before you tonight, we have a uh, request to purchase uh, <clears throat> three patrol vehicles for the police department. Two of the vehicles were included in the 1920 uh, budget process. One of those is a new canine vehicle for the canine position that was uh, approved by the council, and one was a replacement uh, for uh, an older vehicle that was we actually were able to repurpose to one of our school resource officers. The third vehicle we're looking to replace, uh, that vehicle was totaled out as a result of a collision in November of 2018. The finance department was able to diligently uh, pursue the other insured and got the maximum uh, limits of their policy, which was $25,000 to aid in replacement of that vehicle. <clears throat> As uh, time goes on, everything that we purchase as uh, individuals and as the city uh, seems to go up at a, at a rapid rate. And so this year, there was uh, $136,000 allocated to replace the, or for the new canine car and to replace uh, the car we repurposed. However, um, some of that equipment had to stay and there was uh, some funds that weren't included. And so we need also a supplemental budget appropriation to replace uh, that car that was repurposed. For the replacement of the vehicle that was totaled, uh, there wasn't enough money in the vehicle replacement fund for that specific unit. And so with uh, moving some things around from some other vehicles uh, that, that don't need to be replaced at this immediate time, we were able to uh, find the necessary funds. So there's a, in the staff report, I included a, a little bit of a cost breakdown for vehicle. Um, the replacement for the totaled vehicle is about $56,000. Uh, the replacement for the repurposed vehicle is about $77,000, and a new canine car is about $73,000. To compound matters in this issue, uh, we were notified by Chevrolet um, that the 2021 vehicles are going to be redesigned. And so as a result of that, the plant's shutting down, and they're not taking any further orders. Uh, for the 2020 vehicles after the end of September, first part of October, or if they meet their uh, quota for the 2020s. So it is the uh, request to staff that we uh, do things a little bit different um, in recommendation A uh, to use the formal bid process to hopefully get that opened up with council's approval in the next couple days. And then after that, allowing the city manager to award the contract to the lowest bidder without coming back to council um, a second time, basically. So it is staff's recommendation that uh, council approve uh, recommendations A through E, and that'll get us the three vehicles and all the associated equipment to equip a uh, patrol vehicle. And at this time, I'll entertain any questions. Through the mayor. The, uh, I read the staff report. The material um, items, the equipment items that were on the, the total vehicle, et cetera, are those able to be used in the new vehicles? And if not, is there a market for them so we get some value or do they just get tossed? We, we did, we were able to reuse um, the, uh, the radio, which saves us about $4,100, and the computer, which saves us about $9,500. The reason uh, we can't reuse everything, because uh, it's going from the Ford to the Chevy. So. Uh, like the light bar is reusable as well, so we save a little bit of equipment there. But as far as like the cage, uh, back seats, all that has to be a new uh, equipment because it's a completely new vehicle. Excellent that you can reuse. Is there a market to sell it to some other agency, the other stuff at all, or do you just, I'm just curious. Uh, we basically still have some of those in the fleet. Okay. So our fleet maintenance folks are really good about kind of having a boneyard for uh, cars. And so... Um, Unfortunately, we drive a lot, and so on, on the off chance we get in a little fender bender or something, they're pretty good about you know, robbing parts from different places to save money where they can. Thank you. Through the mayor. Uh, Commander, one thing you said 
uh, going forward. They're doing a total redesign for the 2021. Yes, that's and, what we've been told. Okay, and I know that going back in history here, we changed from the Ford to the Tahoe, and we've re-engineered things there. Do we know how that's going to affect us long term? Is it basically cosmetics of how they're redesigning it, or are we looking at being in an issue to where we're going to have incompatible parts in three or four years? I, I do not have that answer because they haven't they haven't released what they're going to look like that we've seen. Uh, typically, they they try and change. Usually, in our, my experience, they change the exterior, but a lot of the interior, the expensive stuff, kind of stays the same uh, for a longer period of time than the external stuff. So we might have to redesign graphics a little bit just based upon fenders or different shapes so they won't fit in a particular spot. But the inside expensive equipment, usually we can get a long service life of. But radios, we have radios uh, in the vehicles now that are 10 or 12 years old. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, You're just a curiosity, want to know how we're, what we're going to be faced with in the years to come. So thank you. All right. All right. There's nothing more. We can uh, have a motion. I motion. I'm sorry. Let me um, forgive me. Would anyone on the public care to speak on this item? Okay. Now go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I make the motion uh, to accept the recommendations of A, B, C, D, and E. I second. A motion and a second to approve SAS recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? None. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you.